Hello there. Uh, so before you get too far into this video thinking that it's one thing and ending up with another, I just wanted to tell you that this video will help you make your own USB-Y cable. In my case, I did so because I wanted to make a gold card so I could downgrade the SPL on my HTC HD7 and therefore install a custom hard SPL by Kotula so I could install custom ROMs and get features like what you see here. There really isn't a whole lot of reason to actually make one of these cables unless you want to uh, install the gold card on your phone in a pinch and you don't want to wait for it to ship. But this kind of thing can be bought on Amazon for $4.99 and the shipping is free, believe it or not. This is actually mine, but this is what it looks like. It has two female ends and one male end and that's all it is and you can see where the custom part of the binding is. Enjoy the video! and that is USB Y. So the first thing you have to do is start with two two of these things um, which are USB extension cables. Very simple, we've got female on one end and we have male on the other. And this one is rather short. Let's see if I can emulate this for the time being. We're gonna have two female on one end and one male. We can take a USB card reader such as this one here and plug it in to the end to one female end and then into the other end we will plug <coughs> excuse me a voice crack there we will take our phone whatever it happens to be in this case it's the HD7 for me. Okay, we're gonna plug this into the other female end of the Y cable and what's going to happen is we're going to put this into USB host mode, I believe it's called. And then we will extract an, an NBH, essentially a ROM image from this, and put it on the phone. So this is the one end. It's, uh, shoot, I'm going to get it wrong. Micro USB connector, male, and then of course just a standard A on the other end. I decided to take a look on everyone's favorite cable buying website and as it turns out um, they're 85 cents mono price 85 cents shipping is more expensive than the cable itself so I'm okay with ruining this because it's actually shorter than the one that comes on that you can get on um, mono price first things first some sort of cutting device. Now you can use these. I'm going to see how well these work. Or you can use one of those, which is probably what I'm going to end up using. So a lot of people online talk about using three cables, and that just doesn't make sense. There's going to be a way to do this, and you're just going to have to have a steady hand. And that's Well, if you're watching this video, you're probably good at exposing cables without actually stripping them. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do it right here in the middle. This, unfortunately, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, that's not actually cabling. That's just um, insulation, RF insulation. Now we need to get through this insulation, and that's not going to be easy. So we've got this insulation out of the way. As you can see we have we have these three three wires exposed. The male end of the cable is going to provide the power. And what we need to do is essentially from the male end of the cable, and since this is just one cable still, we need to sever these two wires. And it's just like diffusing a bomb. You need to cut these wires. So we're going to do that. All right, the wires are cut. You get the other extension cable. Okay, and we want the we want the female end of this cable, which means uh, we probably want to cut it much closer to the male end just for safety's sake. However, just in case you still want to use this for something, 
leave yourself a little bit of room. I'm going to leave myself about four inches here since it's like a, I think it's a, like a 16 inch cable. I'm not really sure. There we go. We're cut. And exposing these inner wires will be much easier. successfully stripped it with my teeth. Now this insulation will be much easier to get off because look at that, you can just peel it away. We have exposed the insulated wires from our other female USB cable and we're going to need access to all of them. But before we do that, let's go back to this cable. Black and red got to be extremely careful with this and unfortunately I because I'm making a video out of this we have the black wire and the red wire exposed we also need to <laughs> expose the super short now green and white wires stripped the green wire and now I have to do it all over again with the white one white wire stripped green wire stripped red wire stripped black wire stripped and this one is on the whole cable now gotta strip all four of these too these will be easier and I have a lot more slack to work with. Success. And this stuff is supremely ugly. So I'm going to twist it up and cut it off. Now I have a decent looking wire and remember this is the female end of one of the cables. The male end only needs to connect red and black to both female ends. Now obviously it's already connected here, so I just need to connect the black ones here. Okay, black and black are connecting. And okay, so I don't know how well you can see that. Black and black. I get some there we go, some white vinyl. Black and black are connected, and we can do the same thing to our red. Now, a problem is already arising, which you can see, and that's the black and the red are touching. Uh, we're going to fix that by isolating each one of these lines with electrical tape, everyone's favorite. Now, if you have heat shrink tubing, that'll work too. And I'm going to start with a very short length just enough to stay manageable. Okay, the red and black lines are officially done. White and green, and remember that's from the female end of this. And connect it to the white and green from the other female end of it. very disgusting but functional USB Y cable and so that's that I hope this tutorial helped I know it's kind of ugly looking but uh, that should be enough right thanks for watching